Well, hello, garden friends. I'm Christy, and today I am going to show you how to use these products, different products, and make your own grow box lighted, complete with a light kit that you can use to start your seedlings or to grow microgreens. We're going to need a few supplies. I have here paint stick. We're going to use it. Um, five gallon paint sticks. We'll use two of these. If you want to go on a budget, wood is expensive. So I figured out a way to rig this with just using these paint sticks, but you could get a board just a little thicker than this because I have to use washers to build it up so the, the screws don't go through the board. So if you aren't as tight on budget, you might want to pick up a board that's about a quarter inch thick and about four inches. Um, I put two of these together and then I make them, paint them, sand them, and make this into a light bar. So I'll show you how to do it that way, or you could just buy the board. It depends on how many of these grow boxes you want to make and what your budget is. All right, so that's the paint stick. We are going to use this light kit. Again, I will have links to where you can buy these on Amazon. And we'll need a set of grommets, which are what we're going to attach this board to. And we're going to make some kind of the uh, hinge like contraption. So we're going to use grommets to screw through the box in order to make our little hinge. We'll also use some zip ties and you'll see how we have that attached. And if you want to grow microgreens, you can fit these greens in the tray comfortably as well. Um, it'll fit nicely inside your grow box. And of course, we're going to use these 13 by 13 inch boxes. And what I like about them is they just fold out like that and they come with their own little bottom, which you can use to support the base. Or if you wanted to cover it when you're growing your microgreens, you want to have everything dark for the first few days. So your plants will grow up. So you can always use the baseboard as a cover. If you're setting this down on a, a firm platform and aren't trying to carry anything with any weight in it. You can get by with this as a cover. So it's very versatile. I like the fact that everything folds up when I'm done with like my seed starts. If I don't want to have it out all year, I can just fold it up and pack it away until the next spring when I start seeds again. Or if I want to grow all year round, of course, these fit the microgreen trays great. So. Let's get started building and I'll walk you through all the steps of making your own grow box. Now to make the light kit for this grow box, I just took these uh, 21 inch paint sticks. They're a little thicker than the smaller ones, although they aren't quite thick enough for the screws. So I ended up getting these little number six finishing washers. I put those in with this little 3 8 inch screw. That's this one right here. So I got these number eight, three eighth inch screws to go with these number six finishing washers. I uh, cut these boards down to 13 inches using this little miter box. I used a medium grade sanding paper to smooth everything up, filled in the space between the two boards with a little bit of wood putty, wood filler, just kind of fill that in. And then I was able to paint that with a paint and primer. When I got that all done, I put this little brace board in. It's like a little angle bar. And just screwed the uh, smaller side in on this side so that I had enough room for the light kit to be able to screw on. And of course I put the angle piece in first so that I could screw one on each board to kind of tie it together and help hold it while I put the light bar in and that finished mounting and holding the pieces of the boards together. As these screws can be a little bit difficult to put in sometimes because you don't want to slip and hit one of these lights or you know when you're drilling when you're trying to screw this in it can tend to slip a little bit and of course there's wires all throughout and I've noticed sometimes when I'm done putting my screws in, the lights don't work properly. If that happens, just unscrew the screws. It helps sometimes to take them all out and then plug the light in. Usually it'll work fine. Then you just put the screws all back in gently. Don't torque them. 
too tight don't over torque anything because it can just put a little tension on the board and then it can cause the lights to mess up another thing i've noticed that can be helpful when you're trying to put these screws in is to get a small little drill bit like this and this is one of my let's see what size is that it's my 332 and it could just be helpful to have just a small little bit to kind of pre-drill the hole a little bit. I haven't done it here yet, but I'll just, I don't drill too deep because you don't want to go too far into the wood and go through obviously. So I'll just give it just enough to get it started. And then that helps keep the uh, screws from crawling when I'm trying to screw them in. It's, it's just hard to work with these little screws. And then of course you're also trying to put the little washer underneath and it could just be a little challenging so I've noticed that just pre-drilling the holes just a little bit enough to get them started makes a big difference in keeping them from crawling and slipping and hitting the lights when I'm trying to put them in now let's go ahead and screw in the holes in our little grill box and uh, put grommets in to be able to make the hinge for this unit So once I drill it out, I kind of try to work some of the fabric out from around the edges because the, those fabric pieces right here can get caught when you put the grommet in. Well here I have my grommet set with my tools and just to show you, it comes with this little piece here that goes right through the fabric and then this washer that goes around the edge. You can see how I stuck it through right here and you can see the fabric is just slightly on the edges of that and what I'll do now is I'll use the tools to pound this on the edge. I put the large piece through the hole and then I put the washer on this side. We'll pound the edge of the long piece right here around the washer and that will make it seal through the fabric. So here we go. I'm going to push this on through the hole that I've made in the fabric. Push this up through. To pound this together, I just put this in underneath. And then I'll just use the other tool to hammer the top. Now that we have the grommets in, the last thing is to take these 4 inch zip ties and work them through the little grommet holes to secure them and make like a hinge that can easily swing around and move that board out of the way when you move your plants in and out of the unit. Catch on the other side and catch on this side. And an easy way to go in and out. I can put my plants in and swing this out of the way when I want to fold the whole box up. Just take the uh, bottom out of the base and it just folds on the side and then this just lays right on the top. I can set my plant tray carefully or just put some protection, probably some bubble wrap to protect it and then set my plant tray around and pack it up and I'm done growing for the season. And as you can see this little 13 inch box foldable little fabric box works just perfect for starting your seedlings either for hydroponics like I'm doing here these are little broccoli seed starts or you can use them for lettuce and uh, you can of course grow the microgreens in here with the microgreen trays as well